Go ahead and get into some more work on the truck after I change out of these work clothes. Uh, on the agenda, I think, are try and clean up the hood and see if I can get it to shine at least a little bit. It's in pretty bad condition. Uh, work on these reverse lights and see if I can get those working. Uh, Maybe make an adjustment to the um, emergency brake and get that so it actually holds the vehicle because right now it does nothing so I think I just need to make some adjustments back here and um, I've got a rear diff cover on order because the one that's on there is leaking and pretty rusty it needs to be replaced so um, we'll see if that shows up and hopefully get that done in this episode uh, though because of that I, I don't think it's supposed to arrive today so um, this might span a couple days I won't claim to be a detailer by any stretch of the imagination, uh, and I've only polished a car maybe once or twice trying to remove some scratches, but we're going to give it a little go on this hood and see if we can make anything better. For an up close on this, here's kind of what it looks like before. This is probably the worst of it. I did play with this just a little bit to see if I could get anything. and. There's a little bit of shine coming out there, so we're gonna play on this section here and see if this is just completely matte, um, not shiny at all. So we'll see if we can bring anything out of this. After two quick passes, it's definitely a whole lot better. I don't know how much you can tell on camera, but um, there's definitely some kind of eggshell in here. I don't think it was, I don't think this is the stock hood. And um, so someone did just a quick dirty paint job on this probably. Um, it's still definitely dull in spots, but it's definitely shinier than it was. Um, for comparison, I haven't touched this side and there's like nothing you on camera You probably can't see a reflection of the clouds that are in the sky here And then if I go back to this side that I touched you can start to see it's not crystal clear and I don't think it will be but It's better than nothing. So I think I'm gonna Make maybe another pass over here. See what I can clean up and keep doing the whole hood at least It'll look better than it did. shiny it's not perfect by any stretch but uh, it's acceptable enough to drive around in and I feel like I'm looking at just a cloudy mess in front of me well I was initially impressed with my work on cleaning up this hood and still am it's much shinier than it was but I did manage to burn through the clear uh, right here so I don't think I'm gonna take this any further than it is I'm going to leave it where it's at um, and uh, just live with this mistake at this point. Uh, I may at some point in the future, not, not anywhere in the near future, attempt my hand at painting this. Um, I've been watching a guy, I'll probably link to him in the description on YouTube, get some pretty impressive results with just spray rattle can. Uh, so I might try my hand at that and see what we do. Maybe we'll start with this hood and move to the rest of the truck. Uh, so stay tuned for more on that. Okay, as an update, I figured I'd let you know. Um, the fuse for the backup lights was not completely missing. It's this fuse right here, fuse number eight. So put a 20 amp fuse in like it should have. 
And now when I put it in reverse, I get a backup camera. It's upside down at the moment, so I need to flip that over, but I've got backup. Awesome. what it looked like before and here's what it looks like after it's not perfect there's still a little cloudiness in it uh, and all these little kind of micro cracks that I think are actually on the inside of the lens because uh, I sanded as much as I could and those just weren't budging at all uh, but looks way better than it did before. Well, if there was a good day for a brake caliper to lock up, I guess it was today. The rear diff cover showed up and I was planning on getting that changed out and the rear diff fluid and addressing the emergency brakes. So I was already gonna be touching some of that stuff. Um, it actually is the front pa uh, passenger side caliper that locked up today while I was driving around. Uh, had to stop and uh, buy a pair of vice grips and uh, just throw it on the brake hose so I could limp it home without it uh, overheating uh, and drive it home on uh, one one front brake and two back brakes. But it worked. I took side roads instead of the highway. And uh, so we'll be getting to replacing that brake caliper. Uh, the parts store had it in stock, fortunately. The one, the random one I stopped at had one in stock. So we'll replace the brake caliper and get the rear def and everything changed. Um, the one downside, I guess, is it's like 95 degrees outside and this truck is too long to fit inside of my air conditioned garage. So I'm gonna have to work with the garage door open and sweat up a storm. Too bad. I've uh, don't know if I've struggled that hard with the retainer clips that go on the brake pads with uh, any caliper before, but eventually got them on there. They are a little bit of a struggle. Um, so I didn't clamp off the brake hose like I would normally do, but that's because I have no idea how old this brake fluid is. And uh, so it's a while you're in there, I'm going to go ahead and flush the brake system anyway. So. I just let it drip on the floor um, and uh, so we'll bleed the brakes next but I won't bother you with with that boringness uh, so for you next we'll move on to the rear axle the emergency brake and the pumpkin okay we're gonna get started back here before I pull this off I figured I'd go over a couple things real quick <clears throat> if you didn't know already know um, at least on these trucks, there is a tag on one side that says what kind of fluid you're supposed to put in there. I don't know if you can read that or not, um, but it says 75W140, synthetic oil only. And then on the other side, there's another tag that tells you uh, what kind of differential you have so um, 
There is a 373 in here. The three is actually covered by that nut. And the L stands for a locking differential. And it's a 10.5 inch rear end. So um, I'll pull this off and then uh, make sure these tags go back on for the next owner. But this thing's pretty rusty, so it's getting replaced. very dark it might be hard to tell on camera but um, so this may have been changed recently but it's definitely leaking and this cover is really rusty I don't know if it's actually rusted all the way through or if if this was recently changed and the just wasn't sealed well but either way I'm gonna replace this with a new aluminum cover that should help keep it a little cooler or maybe improve gas mileage just ever so slightly and we'll get new fluid in just because I have no idea when it was changed last. Well, this was the one I was gonna put on it. Um, and uh, apparently, uh, I'm pretty sure I ordered the right one. I'll double check. I won't blame it completely on Amazon, but at this point, I think I was sent the wrong one because I'm fairly certain I ordered the right one. Um, so I went ahead and cleaned I got a little bit more there. Um, clean the old one up, knocked as much rust off the back as I could, can, and once I put it back on, I'm going to give it a treatment, um, some rust treatment. I inspected it pretty well, and I can't find any uh, place where it looks like it's rusted through. And in fact, I think there's plenty of material. So uh, I think it was just a bad seal. Uh, so we'll throw this one back on. I have this uh, lube locker uh, gasket. Uh, it's not supposed to need any sealant, so hopefully that'll hold. It seemed like it got good reviews. Uh, so we'll throw this back on and put some lube back in there. outside now and the last thing I need to do tonight is get these uh, emergency brake uh, the parking brake adjusted um, the way you do that on these 250s is there's a little um, rubber cover right here right here that pops off and then there's a cam like a lot of parking brakes that adjust the the uh, parking brake, the emergency brake screw. So I am not entirely sure which way it actually needs to be turned. So I'm trying counterclockwise on both sides and we'll see if that does it. If it doesn't, then I'll go clockwise. Real quick before I come to the end of this video, I just wanted to point out these power bladers. Uh, there's a couple different companies that make them. These are a lifesaver and a marriage saver when it comes to bleeding brakes. I used to have my wife come out and pump and hold and pump and hold and she absolutely hated it. Uh, this product, one of these power bleeders makes it a one man job and it makes it super simple to bleed brakes. All right, just got back from a successful test drive. It's always a good feeling when you do some repairs and go check it out and everything's working like it should so um the fluids all looked really good uh the rear diff fluid and the brake fluid uh bled a bunch of it out just to make sure i'd cleared it out and it all looked like it was in good shape which tells me that the previous owner did a good job of uh taking care of the car and and keeping up with the maintenance so that's great news the adjustment on the parking brake didn't work, so I'll need to go the opposite direction on those cams. I can wait for another day. It's time for me to go inside and take a shower. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.